Hi there, Mikhail is here. Nearly two years ago I made the video called Tips to Observe Deep Sky Objects, but the video came out quite strange and even creepy. Therefore I decided to remake it and add some new very interesting tips to observe deep sky. So enough wasting time, let's get it started. Will be very interesting. Now I will teach you how to observe deep sky objects and will tell some very useful tips. First of all we should understand what do I mean by the word deep sky objects. Deep sky objects are celestial objects that exist outside our solar system. We can divide them into galaxies, nebulae and star clusters. But detailed examination of such objects we will make in the next video. So, first of all you have to forget all the bright images of the Hubble telescope, because through a small amateur telescope you will see only blurry grey spots. Well, the exception are people with very big telescopes. If you want to see more details through your telescope, then you have to know that the main characteristic of your telescope is the aperture. In the previous video we were talking about this. Now we should find out two of its main characteristics. The first one is the aperture. Aperture is the diameter of it is like gathering lens or mirror, often called the objective. The aperture's diameter or just V will be expressed either in millimeters or less commonly in inches. The larger the aperture, the more light the telescope can collect and the more objects you can see. In this picture you can clearly see it. The larger the telescope, the better. The next step. So, if you want to see more details through your telescope, get a larger telescope. Many beginners forget or even don't know about light pollution. Actually, light pollution is a thing that is killing amateur astronomy. If you are observing in a very big city, then you will see much less details than in the countryside. To observe in deep sky objects, it is better to go out of the city, but not far away just a few kilometers away. In the description I left a light pollution map where you can see where you have to go to see all beauty of space. Before you start observing, take your telescope outside for two hours. Then during this time the telescope will cool down and the pictures through it will look much clearer. An important point that you need to know is that you have to adapt your eyes to the dark. Before you start observing deep sky objects, Spend 10 minutes just looking at the sky and not looking at the phone or at the computer. Then your eyes will be adapted to the dark and you will see much more details through your telescope. Also, when you begin your observations, try to observe objects that are high in the sky, because then the image of the observed object will be much clearer. The lower the object, the more blurry it is and the worse it is visible. By the way, there is one cool thing that will help you to see more details of the observed deep sky object. For example, when you are observing the Andromeda galaxy, look not directly at it, but a little to the right or left. Then you will use your peripheral vision and this method allows you to see additional details in the observed object. Also, when you are observing deep sky objects, use eyepieces with the smallest magnification and with the largest wide angle. Deep sky objects are big, but dim. You don't have to use very big magnifications, because then you would see nothing. But how to understand which eyepiece gives the smallest magnification? Well, you can watch my previous video or look at the numbers written on the eyepiece. The eyepiece with the biggest number will give you the smallest magnification. Also, if you have, don't forget to use H-beta, UHC or OI filters. These filters will help you to see deep sky objects that were not visible before. And will show you a large number of new details. Experiment and use different filters for different nebulae. And finally, the most important tip. If you can find wished object, then don't give up. At the first time when I was trying to find Andromeda galaxy, I spent 3 days. If you can find today, then try tomorrow. After several attempts you will find it. 
And when you finally find the desired object, then explore the surroundings of it. Try to see which stars are in the neighboring of this object and then in the future it will be easier for you to find it. So, these tips will help you to find and observe deep sky objects. And in the next video we will find out which deep sky objects are the best for observing by the beginners. Stay interested in exploring the universe. Bye.